Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this episode, we take on another very active, very populated Eastern Yellow Jacket nest. And as you can see here, they came out to fight as soon as we stimulated an attack response so we could get them collected. They came flooding out. This nest was located in the backyard of a private residence. Fortunately, the homeowner had discovered it before there was any dangerous attack that happened. But they did have two small dogs that often liked to play back there. They also had grandkids that came over to visit occasionally, so they definitely needed this nest gone. Vespula maculifrons, or eastern yellow jacket, are a very beneficial species that are native to this area here in the Midwest of the USA in North America. They're part of the native pollinators here in this area, and they're also very, very important biological pest control agents. And that means they hunt pest insects to feed their larvae. And that process reduces thousands and thousands of pest insects in the ecosystem, which have to be removed naturally and balanced. And that's what these wasps do for us in this area. That said, they can be very dangerous. They react like killer bees. They're very defensive of their nest if it's disturbed. So they can come out and sting by the hundreds of wasps that each sting several times. It can be very dangerous, so you have to remove these if they're close to human activity. In this episode, we'll show you how we use our vacuum extraction techniques to collect these wasps for venom immunotherapy. We'll take you through phase one of the collection where we collect all the flying wasps that are coming out to attack or going out to forage. These are the adult female wasps that have venom and venom sacs and have the ability to sting. This is why they're valuable for venom immunotherapy. Once we've collected most of the adult foragers and those that have come out to attack, we flash freeze them in frozen CO2, which is dry ice. This preserves their venom at the highest quality possible for venom immunotherapy. It's important for biomedical use to make sure that the venom doesn't degrade in quality during this entire process. So the flash freezing process is one of the most important protocols that we follow in the field to make sure these wasps can be properly preserved. The next step we show you is phase two, where we dig the nest brood comb out of the ground. We can bring it back to our vespiary, put it into an incubation box, and continue to raise that nest so that later, as more adults hatch out of the nest, they can be collected for venom immunotherapy as well. We also hunt down the queen so that she can be contained and kept with her nest, and we'll show you what that looks like. We'll then show you the final step where we transfer the nest into an incubation box back at our vespiary. And we do that by putting it into a cardboard container that we then install inside the incubation box. To view the complete episode in long form, click on the link in the description. 